lucky they hey lucky they're married to each other because nobody else would have them. Hey. <laughs> All right. Now we have the editor. Uh, uh, the editor and the assistant editor of uh, a, a magazine called Answer Me, Jim and Debbie Goad. Here they are. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Bring it on. All right, Jim, hold on a minute. Hold, hold it, guys. Quiet in the audience. Now, uh, you are the editor, Jim Goad, and, and your wife, uh, uh, Debbie, is the assistant editor. Now, now this is a filthy raunchy magazine thank you Wally. And, and you know you say that the uh the the whole thing is called answer me i i have an answer for you get lost and get out of business you know what i read i read this magazine i read this magazine and these people are the armpit of journalism Now, you know... That's right, Wally, and you're the anus of broadcast. Oh! Watch your filthy mouth. Hey. Just the truth. You may be filthy in your magazine, but you won't be filthy on my program. Uh, are those wrinkles, you, you, Wally, you can, or is this a topographic map of Orange County on your face? I beg your pardon? Are those wrinkles on your face or just a topographic map of Orange yeah. County? Hey, hey. How would you like? Well, wait, how would you like one big wrinkle across your big fat nose? Come on. There you are. Take the wig off. You know what? On the editorial page, on the editorial page, these idiots. Thank you. There, there's a picture of these two idiots, and guess what? In their picture, they are giving an obscene gesture to the people watching. Can you believe that? Oh, oh come on. All of you. Every one of you. And then, and then you guys have the audacity uh, in, in your first issue to use the F word, talking about the people. <laughs> hey, I have news for you. I have a lot of power in this town. This is your first issue, and I say it's going to be their last issue. Yeah. yeah. Let's hope so. Now let me get to Debbie. Debbie, can you tell me what in the world? Hold, hold it. Quiet, please. You shut your mouth. Hey, come on. I am the only one who can say that. Quiet down. Let's hear. Hold it in the audience. I'm gonna have to clear the house. I'm gonna have to clear. Hold it. I mean it now. We got to get this this thing out. Now. Uh, let me ask Debbie, why, what are you trying to prove with, with, with this magazine? I, I mean, what, do you, what is your goal? I, I mean, it's just a, a bunch of filthy words. We say what people think but won't admit. We don't oh. present the truth. Oh, no. You don't say what I think. What you I, think? You say, I think, like the majority of people, good, clean, moral, decent things. Yeah. You're, you're talking about filth Most and trash. Are scum. What's that? Most people are scum. That's right. She says, she says, most people are scum. No. no. At least we know it. No. No, you see what? This magazine, Wally, is... Thank God. This magazine is designed to unleash the fear and sexual repression yeah. which lies in all brittle bodies like yours, Wally Joy. No. Come on. Imbecile. You know what I was what I was what I was really disgusted with is, is they have don't want your money they have a story in their magazine they have they have a story in their magazine called babies are dirty yeah. and disgusting yes yes no I understand we know it punk hey gee, I say I say babies are beautiful! Yeah! Now, Debbie. Yes, sir. Now, Debbie, I want to say this. You, you wrote this. I wrote I, I, I'm not going to say it one more time. We're having chaos in the audience. I'm not going to have it. Now, you either quiet down, I'm going to stop the tape, and I'm going to clear the whole damn audience out. Now, knock it off in the audience. I mean it. 
All right, now we're, we're going to conduct an interview here or forget it. I, want, I don't need an audience. Now, I mean it, guys. I've told you three times now. All right, now we're going to continue here. Now, you have had, you wrote this article that babies are, are dirty and disgusting. That's right, I sure did. Have you ever had a baby? I've had abortions. Oh! Yeah! And I'd have a million abortions not to have that cancer growing inside of me. Are you proud of the fact, wait, how many abortions have you had? I've, I have had two, and I've had ten more. When I was pregnant, it felt like years ago there was a, a cancer growing inside of me. But I, I solved the problem. I had an abortion, and I'd have ten no, the more. Problem, Having the abortion was the best thing the I ever did. The big problem, Debbie, the big problem was when you were born in this world. Yeah. And Wallace. Hey, listen. Let, I'd rather have a cat than a kid. Cats, not kids. You, you know, are you proud of the fact, are, are you proud of the fact that, that you have killed two babies are you proud of that fact i'm proud of the fact that at christmas time we're hanging something very special on our christmas tree to honor the fact that You know, you are, you are probably the most disgusting woman I've ever met in my entire oh, thank life. You. Thank and you. you too. That's the nicest thing anyone ever said to me. You know what? That is the most sickening disgust. Do, do you really Quit think spitting on me. Hey, I'll do more than spit in a minute, pal. And smell your breath from here. What kind of vegetables I don't want any more you of your eat? junk. I don't want any more of your stupid junk. I don't want any more junk. Wait. You didn't think I was so crazy and stupid when you sent me this letter three years ago calling me a kind person. You're a senile, person. Wally. You sent me a fan letter, huh? Does this look familiar? I did an interview with you three years ago. You're losing you your mind. Crazy then. You're senile. Oh, boy. Well, now you, you are saying, you are saying in your magazine, you are saying in your magazine that, uh, let me get, get back to uh, El, El Sico here, <laughs> Mr. Goad. Uh, you say in the magazine that abortion should not only be legal in, in America, it should be mandatory. mandatory. Yeah. Abortion, yes! There's no. too many people. That's right. The only way to stop social problems is to stop society, Wally. Yeah. You've been on the freeway lately? So, so are you Have saying... You tried to get a parking space, hold, Wally? Hold, hold, hold. Are you... you had to wait two hours in line to get on a ride at Magic Mountain. There's too many damn people, There's Wally. too many people. A new creature opens its eyes every seven seconds. There's too many people. And they're all Are you stupid. saying that, that, like that you want a law passed that, that any... Any women who are who are, are pregnant in, in America, it's mandatory that they have an abortion? Mandatory abortion, Wally. They'd have to file with the regulatory agency, which would monitor abortion clinics. They'd have to sign up. Everyone would have to go. You too. It'd be like the DMV. And if a woman, uh, go to hell. Yes, go ahead. Right. If a woman didn't report in the second or third trimester, she'd have to face death. Oh, jeez. You... You know, you, you are so, you are, hey, where is that stupid, where is that sign that oh, you have? Oh, here's the there? best reason for abortion. What is that? Here we what's, go. What's that picture you got? Yeah, it's a picture, it's the strongest argument for abortion that I've ever seen. It was taken about, shut your mouth. It was taken about a hundred years ago when photography was basically new. It's a picture of you as a baby, Wally George. Oh! Welcome back, everybody, to Hot Seat. Uh, can I have that on? Okay, very good. Now, you know what? I've had a lot of really degrading, sickening people on my show, but I think this couple's about the worst. What do you think? And let me, 
Here's what I think of their stupid magazine. Here you go, right here. Get out of here. They are so disgusting to say babies are 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 disgusting and 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 she brags about uh, aborting both of her babies and she said she'd do it ten more times. I tell you, taking one look at her, I'm glad she hasn't had a baby. But I say, people like her and her husband, instead of bragging about abortion, they should realize what they are doing is killing a live baby, right? Yeah. All right. Now, we have some... Hold, hold down over there, guys. Uh, we have some extra time because I kicked those idiots out of here before I was going to. So we brought some, some people from the Wally Stadium. Uh, Questioner, go ahead. Have your name and... Oh, yeah. my name is Debbie Wally. I just want to say you're a genius. How hey! people at the Late Show throw you off their stinking show. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. You know what happened? I went on there and I told that stupid Ross, whatever his name is, how boring and dull he was. And I, and I told Shannon Tweed what, what a nitwit bimbo she was. And the producers in the break, the producer came to me and said, either you apologize or we're going to ask you to leave. And I said, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Wally apologizes to nobody. 